What's good? What's good? A humble soul, baby. Want to do something on Snooty Well, man. Memphis artist Snooty Well. A popular, you know, artist out of the South. You know, buzzing from the South, man. Back in like 2014, 2015. You know, a little bit of 2013. He was up and coming, man. Somebody who was linked to Yo Gotti. But he ended up, you know, disappearing from the music scene a few years ago. And a lot of people really weren't you know, hip to what was going on and what led to his disappearance, man. So I just wanted to do a, just a, you know, a brief video on Snooty Wild, man. Um, shout out to Memphis, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the whole South, man. Shout out to everybody tuning in, rocking with a humble soul. Let's get into it. Snooty Wild is somebody who came up on the north side of Memphis. Um, he's the son of a, of, a, of a guy who was actually in the streets. He got his name from it, from his father, you know, um, and they call Snooty Wild Lil Snooty, and he added the wild onto it, you know, just because of his personality and him being, you know, just rough and rugged and wild in the streets, you know what I'm saying? But he also was somebody who was into sports coming up, played basketball, baseball, ran track and all of that. But, you know, he was dibbling and dabbling with the with the hustling, got into some situations where, you know, he ended up getting stabbed and got arrested, you know, and that ended up leading to him just fully pursuing the street life, you know, robbing, hustling, and he... Ended up getting caught up for real, man, and sentenced to four years for an aggravated robbery and attempted murder, from what I understand, attempted murder, you know what I'm saying, from what I understand, but they ended up, I think, dropping an attempted murder charge or just hitting him with the robbery charge, and he served four years, and while he was incarcerated, that's when he really started taking music seriously. I think before that, he was already, you know, messing with the music, but that was a period of his life where he really started, you know, sitting down strategizing and writing and writing and writing. I know he said he wrote hundreds of songs and the song that got him known was called Yayo. They start playing it in the clubs and all of that. And it, and it caught the ears of Yo Gotti. You know, Yo Gotti is somebody who always, over the years has had his ears to the streets. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to rap music in Memphis. It's how did you meet Yo Gotti? Oh, man, just really grinding, man. You know what I'm saying? He had came back home. And, uh, you know, we got a couple of clubs around there in the area, right? So mm -hmm. he always touched down. This, I didn't know that. I just found it out. That's how he heard me. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So he, he'll, he'll touch down and just check out some of the clubs when he come back home. Mm -hmm. They playing me. You know what I'm saying? The, the crowd going crazy. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the DJ, I think one of the DJs told him, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, this kid stay right up the street from me. from North Memphis. So he ain't off from Memphis, period. Mm -hmm. So for me, just moving the crowd and coming from the city, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to get your own city. Mm -hmm. He was like, damn, I got to meet this kid. You know what I'm saying? So uh, Lil Larry hit me up. You know, the DJ that's kind of like, mm -hmm. you know, what's in Memphis? You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, you know, it, it, it started from there. He linked it up. We met up. You know what I'm saying? We had the same conversation, the same kind of like game plan Driving. of what I'm trying to do right. You know what I'm saying? So it was like self-explanatory. You know what I'm saying? We on the money train now. We trying to get it. Yo Gotti chopped it up with him, you know what I'm saying? And uh, let him know, like, hey, man, I would love to get behind you and push your single. But it went from that to turning into some uh, some album deals with CMG and Epic Records, you know? And um, and, and something to point out, man, back then when Snooty Wild got, got, got down with CMG, it wasn't the roster that it is now. For the, for the most part, it was um, Zed Zilla, Yo Gotti, Wave Chappelle, and Snooty Wild. I think a black youngster came like a, a year or so later, you know, it's Snooty Well. He dropped his, his EP Go Mode the following year, so on and so forth. He was doing collaborations, touring with Yo Gotti, you know what I'm saying, performing in different countries around the world, just, you know, expanding his horizon and really pursuing his dream, changing his life, you know. So things were looking good for him, you know what I'm saying? He had plans to drop his official debut album. Um, but before he did that, I know like in 2015, he, he linked up with DJ Drummer and dropped the mixtape. And that featured, you know, Yo Gotti, Black Youngster, um, Gunplay, Boosie, Badass, Chinks, Drugs, R.I.P. He had the momentum going. He had, you know, his own lane carved out for the most part with the music, the unique sound. You know, he had his own ad lib, his own look. But yeah, but a point came where he just kind of disappeared you know he was on cmg for a couple of years and then um he ended up parting ways with them 
And it's a variety of rumors that have been circulating about why that happened. One rumor is that, you know, he was dealing with drug addiction. Um, and other rumors is that, man, maybe the deal wasn't the best that he had with CMG and Epic, and they kind of parted ways that way. But nevertheless, you know, Snooty and Yo Gotti have really both kind of kept it um, respectful and, and not really open the lens too much to what led to him leaving the label. But he has said in interviews that he felt like he didn't receive the same support that people like Black Youngster and Moneybag Yo got when it came to like the push and the promotion, getting the hundreds of thousands of dollars or, you know, the Lambo, so on and so forth like that, and signing bonuses. But nevertheless, man, you know, Snooty ended up parting ways. He had his team, Yayo Imprint. He was still collaborating and doing, you know, songs and all that type of stuff. But he, he never dropped an official debut album. And um, after a certain point, like around 2017, he just disappeared. A lot of people were, were wondering, you know, what happened to him. But, um, but for, for those who don't know, he was actually locked up. You know, he had moved to Texas. He was in Texas, you know, still recording music and all that and all of that. And um, one night, this is back in May of May of 2017, he was leaving the studio and he was getting onto the interstate when reportedly, you know, uh, a vehicle ran his SUV off the road, you know, kind of causing the crash, caused like an accident. You know, police and deputies and all they ended up being alerted, you know, about the car crash. So they came to the scene to investigate everything to see what was going on. And, you know, what the officers and deputies on the scene, they reportedly, you know, Notice, um, this is according to the police report, notice Snooty going to the back of his SUV in the, in the back of the trunk area. And, um, you know, the officers eventually come around and they, they see that he has his hand, Snooty has his hand reportedly on a, on a pistol that he had, you know, and he's pointing, pointing it at one of the officers or pointing it at them. Nevertheless, man, you know, they get into a little struggle, a little physical struggle, take the gun away from Snooty and arrest him. You know what I'm saying? Which is ironic, man. He was in Texas and just the climate for black people and police, you know, it's not the best, man. So I'm surprised that they didn't just start letting off on, you know, on, on bro, man. So it's actually a blessing. But yeah, they, they, they take the gun away from him, arrest him. And after that, they, they search, his, search his SUV, you know what I'm saying, and find prescription pills as well as marijuana. And they also find out that, you know, he's a convicted felon. And the gun that he had pointed at them, allegedly, um, it was stolen. It was reported stolen from an a area in Texas. He's indicted and charged with, um, he's charged with felony aggravated assault against, a, um, against a, a public servant, as well as felony possession of a firearm, you know. But they ended up dropping the um, felony aggravated assault against a public servant and just hit him with the felony possession of a pistol you know he was reportedly sentenced to six years in prison and he ended up serving around three years before they let him out But yeah, man, so that's what that's what's going on with Snooty Wild, what led to his absence in the rap game. And you know, he's back out, man. He has he has um his focus on, you know, jumping back in the music game and, you know, making a name for himself again, you know what I'm saying? I just want to do some on Snooty Wild, man. If you mess with it, hit the like button, man. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already connected with us. Drop a comment, you know what I'm saying, and all of that if you're messing with it. It's your guy Lewis checking in, man. Until next time, I'm going to holler at y'all 100.